The Toshkish Rainforest is on the west coast of Vancouver Island. It is situated just north of the Brooks Peninsula, which wasn't scraped clean during the last ice age. It is a lush valley bottom and gets 12 feet of annual rainfall. Scientists have called the region the dentist biomass on Earth. All this makes it a truly special place for me. Ironically, the only reason it is accessible to me at all is because of all the logging roads. I drive through an endless maze of clear-cut devastation. These machines are unique in their own way, specially designed to enter remote, rugged territory and remove all the valuable trees. The machines are getting better at their jobs, and I fear the forest will be extinct within my lifetime. So for the past few years, I've dedicated all my time to filming this area. As the loggers come up with new ways to cut down the world's largest trees, I develop new ways of climbing them high up into the forest canopy. Down below, Aboriginal people explore the forest, searching for traces of their ancient civilization, which existed here for 10,000 years. Okay, you can see all the chisel marks, especially right here, you can see the chisel marks here. They burned and they chiseled, they burned and they chiseled. So they, they were going to make a canoe or something out of it, but they never returned. The day of life like we are you know and after they start talking to the tree that the next day when they're ready to cut into it and they start singing singing to the to the to the tree and they, yeah hey 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 yeah 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 That's the song that he used before he cut into that wood to that tree. There's an uneasy imbalance in this ecosystem because in some cases economics and politics have forced the First Nations communities themselves to allow logging in their traditional lands. It's a difficult choice because the old growth trees are worth millions of dollars. I film with the loggers as well who are decent family men working to support their families in one of the world's most deadly professions. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Four years. Four and years? Four years, something like that. Wow. You, and how old are you? You must be... 24. 24? Wow. This guy Early got start. me a job. Well, it's a living, eh? And then when you're young and start out doing it, then, you know, you get hung up on it, like anything, I guess. But I've always enjoyed it, so that's... that's uh, so the money's good? Yeah, pretty good. Well. Look at it this way, the old man brought up four kids and so have I, so...
This was the first image I shot in the canopy of the Clash Quiche. My techniques for climbing and filming up in the canopy continue to improve. I also love to enter into the worlds of the microscopic, the macro, earth, sea, air, through all the seasons. Why am I doing this? I think it's a beautiful place. I think it's insane to cut down an old growth forest anywhere in the world, but especially this one. I feel this is being allowed to happen because it is not visible to most people. My job is to make this forest reality visible. I am proposing this film, a cinematographer's journey through this forest. Unlike most nature films, you will feel just how hard it is to film in these areas and how hard it is to climb some of the world's tallest trees. Although visuals drive this film, I will offer some local insight and information with a bit of narration. What I'm looking for from you is some help. I have many hours of high definition footage and I want to do a few more complicated shoots where I set up even more elaborate rigging that will guide my camera horizontally through the forest canopy. Then I want to hire a world class writer, composer and editor to help me craft this film into a unique journey into the ancient rainforest of the Clash Quiche.